Hi everyone, it's Roger Emerson here from my studio in Northern California. I'm delighted that Hal Leonard wants me to do sort of an extended uh, segment on warm-ups and warm-up resources that I've been really involved with uh, quite extensively in the past 10 years. Um, you know, warm-ups take on uh, a multiple uh, purposes. Uh, one is just transition from uh, either PE or recess or maybe a math class and it gets kids sort of into the mode. But the other is that um, my pop warm-up books all actually teach traditional choral skills through pop song motives. Uh, things, uh, songs that kids know and, uh, or don't know in some cases, some of the classic rock that we've used, but they're always very melodic. And of course, what, I, what I've done is that I take them in a given key and then move them up by half step uh, so that they extend their range. And as I've always said, the singer with the most notes wins. So uh, you want to really encourage that with your students. Um, the first book that I did uh, back about 10 years ago, I've got it right here. It's called Pop Warmups and Workouts for Guys. It's going to be reprinted as Pop Warmups and Workouts for Tenor Bass, which I'm delighted about. Um, the first book had a separate CD, which is very important because it features a, a male a vocal model particularly if, if you're a soprano alto trying to teach uh, you know, baritenors or tenor basses, it's always nice to have an audio reference because um, sometimes they, they'll sing it uh, in the wrong octave, maybe two octaves lower or something. Uh, what's unique about this, and I formulated this after going back into the middle school here where I'd taught for years and years, new director took over, he was an instrumentalist, and he said, Roger, could you come work with my, with my tenor basses? I said, I'll be happy to. So I'd get the dozen of his seventh, eighth grade uh, uh, young men around the piano, and, um, and I'd start like, shake, rattle, and roll, shake, rattle, and roll, sort of a one note warm up at G below middle C, and I'd play sort of you know, rock and roll chords underneath. Then I'd move it up by half step, or maybe go to B flat, uh, you know, particularly if you had a lot of seventh graders, they found, you know, that, that uh, B flat was a better key for them. And I try and just get these kids to be able to, to center their pitch, because as you know, they're all over the place. So um, what's neat about this book is that we use several themes, uh, shake, rattle, and roll, jump, jive, and wail. Uh, we will rock you, smoke on the water, land of a thousand dances, mission impossible theme, the Adams family, hey, hey. Na Na Kiss Him Goodbye, which seems to be a real favorite. The guys all sing it at basketball games and the theme from Jaws, which works those half steps. Um, so um, I hope that you will, uh, I, we're gonna show a, a little bit of a, of a clip here, uh, a score play where you can hear excerpts from this, but it is pop warmups and workouts uh, for guys. And uh, it'll really help in your rebuilding year. So I hope you'll check it out. Rattle and roll, shake, 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 rattle and roll. In your way, you gotta jump, jive. 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 In your way, the way. Jump, jive. In your way, you gotta 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 jump, jive. In your way, the way. Hey, 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 good. 
had so much success with pop warm-ups and workouts for guys, uh, I often encouraged uh, teachers who had, say, mixed ensembles to go ahead and have the soprano altos sing the same exercise up the octave. And it worked pretty well, but I thought, well, let me do one that's, that's really intended for mixed voices. And so we did pop warm-ups and workouts uh, for choir. And uh, again, this isn't warm-ups for pop music. It's using pop uh, motives and melodies to teach traditional uh, choral skill. Um, also, if you have a, um, if you're using the audio, um, you're able to separate out uh, soprano alto from tenor bass in left and right channel. And of course, then we have the tracks all by themselves, which you can use. Um, but for instance, I took a song like uh, The Witch Doctor. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, wall, walla, bing, bang. It's a perfect warm up and did it in several keys. And for instance, um, each, each warm-up has a, a focus. For instance, vowel shapes, resonance, four-measure phrasing, metered inhalation, that's counting before you come in, make sure they're filling with air, and articulation. Learning outcomes, properly shape the oo, e, and a ah vowels while singing. Sing words ending in ing so that the sound resonates in the facial mask. Sing four-measure phrases on one breath. There's a good one. Recognize and properly sing staccato articulation. And then related literature, sanctus, sing out. Can you hear? El Vito, may joyful music fill the air. So um, it really is sort of a, a one size fits all and you have even some, some extension kinds of exercises that give you some good ideas of some tried and true literature. So uh, that's point pop warm-ups and workouts for choir. And I know we're gonna see and hear a little excerpt uh, score play coming up. Hope you enjoy it. Moving on, uh, we followed pop warm-ups and workouts for choir one with pop warm-ups and workouts for choir two. More songs. Um, where pop warm-ups and workouts for choir number one was primarily sort of classic rock, 
Uh, this is more contemporary. Here are some of the songs included. Uh, Ho Hey, Home, the Phil Phillips tune. Best Day of My Life, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, Moves Like Jagger, Fly to the Bumblebee, Chasing the Sun, The Interval Song, The Christmas Song, and Some Nights. And I use those melodic motives, those themes, in various keys to get kids singing. Uh, this year, I think it's going to be really important because we're doing a rebuild. And um, um, I think it's really important to just work on getting them singing uh, before we try and get into real thick harmony. Um, and I think these warm-up books are just a great way to get that uh, started. So um, I know we're going to hear a little clip now from Pop Warm-Ups and Workouts number two. you know I'm, I'm a real Facebook follower on I'm a choir director um, I guess it's the teacher in me I just like to stay engaged and I, I, I really try and help people where I can recommending either some resources I've created or other composers or rangers um, and um, one of the things that I would see posted quite a bit is oh let's do rounds with our middle schoolers well it's not a bad idea however um, you'll know that most rounds are at least an octave and I found that, for instance, with our emerging baritenors, as I call them, um, they don't have a full octave. So unfortunately, you end up starting, you know, maybe it works for the first few notes, then you got to pop it down the octave or whatever. So I created a, a new book called A Rounds Plus. And, and what I did is I took some very familiar rounds and I wrote sort of a, an ostinato uh, for the baritenders, like row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So they, they continue to repeat that while then you add the soprano altos uh, doing the traditional round on top of it. I find it works pretty well. Um, again, it's, they're used to doing these sort of short chants um, from my pop warm-ups and workouts for guys that na, na, 
na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. Always tended to get the guys singing because they'd heard it a lot at sports events. And uh, so I tried to sort of recreate that. And I included these rounds, uh, Dona Nobis Pachim, Down by the Bay, Ghost of John, Haida, Hey Ho, Nobody's Home, Jubilate Deo, London's Burning, Music Alone Shall Live, Row, 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 Your Boat, and Shalom Havarim, um, with each with a little repeated ostinato that goes on for your tenor basses. So I know we're going to hear an excerpt here, and I hope it works for you. Hey ho, nobody's home. Hey ho, nobody's home. Hey ho, nobody's home. In your dream, no money have I done. If you hear me, nobody's very merry. Hey ho, nobody's home. Hey ho, nobody's home. In your dream, no money have I done. If you hear me, nobody's very merry. Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Row, row, row your boat Gently down the stream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Merrily, 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 merrily Life is but a dream Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ghost of John, ghost of John, ghost of John, ghost of John. Ghost Have you of John. seen the ghost, ghost of, of John? Long white dogs with the skin ghost all John. gone. Ghost of John, ghost of John. Continuing with our warm-ups and workouts, um, the teacher in me is always trying to teach. And um, sight reading is so important to our kids. And I have to be honest, uh, I've had to work at it. <laughs> I wasn't very good. I got into college and I hadn't done any of it in, in high school or elementary school. Uh, fortunately, I, uh, I played guitar and so I, you know, I read music, but I really hadn't connected that with my ear. And so it's been sort of a lifelong journey for me and uh, I'm so glad that in today's schools, uh, kids are learning it. It's just part of the curriculum, and I just encourage you to go there. Um, and, and a resource that, that I designed to sort of help, again, using pop song motives, um, is uh, this book that is Pop Intervals and Ear Training for Choir. Um, and again, you know, I think we've all used, um, My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean uh, for the interval of a major sixth. Um, but I know that pop songs uh, also have those intervals that uh, we like to use and remember as part of audiation. And so I created a book that, that um, basically takes, a, a, again, a pop motive 
and does it in several different keys, not chromatically. It sort of jumps around, so it makes the student really listen to the new key center and then repeat and sing uh, the interval. The songs we included were Lean On Me, that's uh, singing by step, sometimes in our lives, and then Obladi of La Da, which is uh, skips. Isn't She Lovely, Stevie Wonder Tune, minor second. Hallelujah, minor third up, count on me, major third up. Brave, perfect fourth up. Skyfall, perfect fifth up. My way, Frank Sinatra, there's your major sixth upward. Let it snow, octave. Hey Jude, minor third downward. Happy together, perfect fourth downward. And it don't mean a thing, perfect fifth downward. Um, the other thing that I included in the book is um, at the end, it's how to basically build a major scale in several keys, I believe three or four keys, and then how to build the chords that are related to those by stacking thirds on top of them. So there's a couple worksheets included. Uh, and again, there's an audio that goes with this, um, which uh, allows uh, you to sort of test the kids, so to speak, give them a challenge, they like that. And again, during our rebuilding year, I think that, uh, that having these kinds of resources is really gonna help. So let's hear an excerpt. And again, it's without voices. So all you're gonna hear uh, will be the, uh, uh, the underlying accompaniment. So uh, here it is, uh, pop intervals and ear training for choir.
During this pandemic year, many teachers were just, give me something my kids will sing. And I was fortunate that uh, uh, I think um, uh, many have, have been trying to get their kids to, again, sing anything. But my Pop Rounds for Choir book uh, was just very successful. In fact, it uh, was selling off the shelves. One thing that was selling off the shelves. And, um, uh, but I think that, that people found it really resonated. It was something that they could do easily, you know, uh, over Zoom or Google Classroom and get their students to, uh, to actually respond to because they were songs that the students needed done in a, in a series of rounds. And uh, some of the songs uh, you'll be um, familiar with, and uh, hopefully they will too, All of Me, the John Legend tune, Can't Stop the Feeling, that was uh, Justin Timberlake, the Cup song, uh, Dynamite, which is uh, the, the Tail Cruz version, uh, which of course, uh, if you see it on YouTube, uh, that sort of started the whole thing off, gave me the idea. Uh, the Leonard Cohen Hallelujah, Havana, which I wanted a neat Latin piece there, uh, Secrets and We Will Rock You, uh, done in rounds. And, uh, and the neat thing is that you can have the students, again, just sing them through the melody. It's got a great track with it. And uh, then you can, of course, do the round, and then you can flip parts, and then you can do it a cappella uh, in different keys. Uh, and so there's, a, there's just lots of flexibility. And so um, uh, we're going to show you a little bit of that in the score play. So uh, uh, here is a pop rounds for choir. Give your Finally, those of you particularly that are in middle school or small high schools, my Sing 678 book um, that I wrote about 10 years ago, I had a student who had graduated from college and he said, I'm in a middle school job, I need some help. Uh, we know how that goes. You learn so much your first few years of, uh, of teaching. And so I put together sort of a guide for him of, of tried and true uh, chorals for middle school. 
I uh, included some warm-ups. You know, most warm-ups start on C. Be better if they start on E flat or F in most cases for the middle schooler. Uh, so I included some warm-ups. Uh, it's sort of a question and answer style. You know, it's like one page question, one page answer. Um, and I found many people just really like it. It's a refresher. Also, um, each uh, question and answer then gives a variety of additional resources. Uh, either from from Hal Leonard or other publishers that I've found along my 40 plus years of teaching that I think might be helpful. So um, uh, if you're just looking for, a, I don't know, a kick in the pants to get this year started or if you're starting off middle school or uh, have a particularly tough year, you might want to take a look at Sing 678. You can also go to the website sing678.com and, uh, and check out a whole bunch of resources there and excerpts you can listen to. So anyway, I hope you have a great year. Um, I, I know anything's gonna be better than last year. I know it's gonna be a challenge because the numbers are low, but uh, um, they're gonna come back. Um, and I know they will for you and um, we're just trying to help. So uh, you can always contact me, rogeremerson.com. Uh, you can get me on Facebook if you have a question and, um, and I just wish you well. Bye-bye.